Hello Year 8, this is Mr McLeod speaking. Today's learn objective is to know how to calculate cube roots. This builds on the skills that we learnt in the last lesson. Shown on the board are your six starter questions. Please attempt these six questions in your box and then we'll mark them in green pen afterwards. Please pause the video now. Okay, so on the board are your six answers to the starter. Please mark them in green pen, correct any you may have made a mistake on or didn't get right, and write down the correct solutions if you did get it wrong. Well done if you got six out of six, that's really impressive. Okay, so starting with a bit of cube roots. Now remember what it means to cube a number. It means to times it by itself three times. So, this is an example of 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3, and that equals 27. So the cube root does the opposite. The cube root says, okay, what number do I need to cube to get this as an answer, 27? Well, what number cubed equals 27? The answer is 3. So the cube root of 27 is 3. Please pause the video here, copy that down, and then try the we do for yourselves. So, we had the cube root of 125 for the weeder. Now remember that 5 cubed equals 125, so the cube root of 125 is 5. Well done if you got that right. If you didn't, please write it down in your book. So for the next question, cube root of 8. Well, this is asking, what number do we cube to get 8 as an answer? Well, 2 cubed equals 8. So the cube root of 8 is 2. Please pause the video here, copy that down, and then try the we do. Cube root of 64. And finally, the cube root of 64 is 4, because 4 times 4 times 4, 4 cubed, equals 64 so the cube root of 64 does the opposite and it equals 4 so cube root of 512 this one was a bit more difficult and might have been a bit harder for people to calculate but 8 times 8 times 8 equals 512 so if we work backwards then the cube root of 512 is equal to 8 Please copy that down. Try the we do for yourselves. Look at the first two numbers, 27. Think what number cubed equals 27. Then look how many zeros it has and guess how many zeros your answer is going to have. So the answer to the we do was 30. You can tell this by looking at the 27. Well, cube root of 27 is 3, so I know my number is going to start with a 3. This has three zeros, we're looking for the cube root, so we divide the number of zeros by three, so we get one zero, so it's a three and then one zero. Well done if you got that right, that's really good if you did. Okay, so on the board you have 20 questions. Please pause the video here and work through these 20. If it's not clear, all of these questions are asking for cube roots, so this is always a little three here always a little three for each of these questions so they're all asking for cube roots question one is asking you to find the cube roots of each of these numbers and question two is asking for true or false as an answer please pause the video here and allow 20 minutes at least to work through those questions we'll go through in green pen afterwards So shown on the board are the answers to the last questions we did. If anyone got 20 out of 20, that would be really impressive. Please be ready to move on. Okay, so question three and four, which are a bit more challenging. Question three, you find in the cube root, so remember to look at the first couple of numbers or the first number 
think about what number you have to cube to get those numbers. So 27, we know cube root of 27 is a 3, so it's going to have a 3 to start with. And then think about how many zeros it's going to have. Try and work through question 3 and then question 4. For question 4, you're literally going to cube root the top number and cube root the bottom number. I'll be really impressed if you can get onto that. Pause the video and allow students to work through those 10 and 20 questions. There are your answers to the questions we just seen. You're doing really well if you can answer those questions. Really well. Keep up the good work. And question 5 asks you to find either the square root or the cube root. So look at each of these questions and find either the square root, the square root when it asks, or the cube root. So remember the cube root is when it has a little 3 in front of this square root symbol. So find the square root or the cube root of each of those numbers. Remember when it has a 3 that means it wants the cube root. Pause the video here and allow 15 minutes to work through that question. We'll go through the answers afterwards. So here are the answers to those questions you've just seen. Mark them in green pen and give me a score out of 18. So for the second type of example, it's asking us to find what x is. So this says cube root of 64 equals x. So for this one, we just have to work out the cube root of 64. And I know the cube root of 64 is 4 because 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. 4 cubed equals 64. So the cube root of 64 is 4. Please copy that down and then try the we do. Remember you're finding the value of x. So you're saying what number cubed equals 4. Do that in your books now please. Okay so from the I do. We saw cube root of 64 equals 4. And the we do was basically the opposite. It was saying what number cubed equals 4. Well, I do already told us that x equals 64. Cube root of 64 equals 4. So well done if you spotted that and got it right. So the next I do. Find the value of x. Cube root of x equals 1. So what number cube rooted equals 1? Well, 1 cubed equals 1, so the cube root of 1 is also 1. Copy that down please, in your book. Then try the we do. What number cube rooted, well, cube root of 1000, what number cubed equals 1000? Think about that. What number times by itself 3 times equals 1000? So for the we do, you might have got an answer of x equals 10, in which case you would be absolutely right. So give yourself a tick and green pen if you got that. 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 cubed, equals 1,000. So 1,000 cube rooted equals 10. Okay, so for this one, find the value of x, and it says cube root of x equals a third. Well, what number cube rooted equals a third? Well, if we do the opposite, if we cube a third here, so cube 1, 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1, and cube the denominator, the bottom, 3, 3 times 3 times 3, we get 1 over 27 as an answer. So do the same for the we do. Cube a half to find out what number cube rooted equals a half. So 1 times 1 times 1, that goes on the top, and 2 times 2 times 2, that goes on the bottom. Try that question for me now, please. So, for we do, you should have done 1 times 1 times 1, which equals 1, that goes on the top, and 2 times 2 times 2, for 8, that goes on the bottom. Please copy that down into your books. Give yourself a tick and green pen if you did it independently. If you got it right, you're doing really well. Keep it up. Okay, so on the board is question one, and it's asking you to find the value of x. So in each of these cases, you're cube rooting a number or you're cube rooting x to find a number. 
So find what number x will be. So for the first one, cube root of 8, what's the cube root of 8? That equals 2. So x will be 2 for the first question. Work your way through those 20 questions. So pause the video here for 15 to 20 minutes and work through those 20 questions. Do them in your book and be ready to mark in green pen afterwards. So on the board are your 20 questions. Please mark them for me now. And for the last exercise of the lesson, you're finding the value of x. So for each of these, find out what the missing number x is. Pause the video here for 15 minutes and work through. Okay, so there are your answers to question to question two. Please mark them, or if you didn't manage to finish those, copy them down in your books. Thank you for listening today, Year 8, and I'll see you again soon. Well done.